All right, folks, the deck is Guardian Animals Druid. The goal of the deck is to uh, finally make use of Moonfang by pulling them from our deck with Guardian Animals. Aside from that, we've just got a lot of ramp in the early game to get to Guardian Animals, as well as Kalefoss and some cheap spells so that we can cheat out either the Guardian Animals or the Survival of the Fittest for a lower mana cost. Essentially, what we're looking to do is create layers of threats to push some damage with either Arbor Up or Branching Paths, both of which we can use Solar Eclipse to get some additional burst damage off of. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle. Watch this! Victory or death! I must protect the wild. Oh, well, we drew the beast again. Raffle can Druid have a control deck that is actually good? Uh, yeah. Jade Druid is, like, a moderately good deck. There, Druid has a lot of strong control cards. It's a good card to draw into. Not sure what the opponent's doing though. Some sort of control warrior, I guess. Job done. So we need a big Kale Foss turn, maybe, which uh, probably involves uh, survival of the fittest, right? Minefield incoming? I mean, it just goes card for card, then that's fine. You think the solar eclipse should have the this turn restriction of lifted? Oh god, dear, no, 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 no. Have I mentioned no? Drink your blood, eat your flesh. What if we get a taunt here? We didn't. Yeah, we do have a good um, Kael'thas turn. I just want to do it now when I have um, some dragons on board off of these dream portals. Hey, there we go. Just use this now. Force out a brawl. It'd be nice to draw a um, guardian animals at this point. Well, that helps. Do they not have the brawl? Well, there's the Kael'thas pop-off. I'm only going to have one minion on board, most likely, though. Uh, Bear of Broom is also a clear. Bear of... Um... Nope. Watch your back. I must protect the wild. Well, let's get to that Guardian Animals. I'm just gonna give them mana here. Maybe. We'll see what they play. If they play a pirate, definitely. Nah, I don't care. I don't wanna think. I 
This gives me the opportunity to top deck a second Lightning Bloom. But realistically, my game plan here is just get to this as fast as I can. So next turn I can play the uh, Ferocious Hell. Have you done an Odd Shaman? Uh, yeah, many times. You here for the tour? Wait, why didn't you play that last turn? Second guardian animals. All right, we get the first one next turn, and at this point, I kind of need to hope I hit Moonfang or the, uh, the Twilight Runner, which is my two least likely outcomes, unfortunately. We get a second try at the guardian animals next turn. Not next turn. Uh, after the uh, after the overgrowth, I guess. In two turns. Poisonous. Yeah, that works too. We just get to kill the thug. That's all that matters. No taunt. Whew. Should be able to get there. I've got this, and then I just follow up with these two on uh, turn 10. What's the two for? Um, it's an Argent Watchman. But who watches the Watchman? Wait, no. That's actually bad for me. Uh, no, I'll just get Moonfang, and it'll be easy, right? Most of the time that happens. Is there any merit to Mal first for hero power value? Uh, no, I need to... I need to swing the board back, and this is how I do it. Eight damage. I don't think we're dead here. Never know what hit him. What? <laughs> yeah, I can go here and here. No point in going face here. I win if I don't die. Um, just going in with the the branching paths next turn. I'm glad that's not the inspire one. Isn't there an inspire gain armor uh, mech? Beloved Tyrande. Well, we've got some ramp. And we finally got the guardian animals. Is this the game chat? Uh oh. Um, I don't want the embiggen because it messes up the guardian animals. Time waits for no one. Wild. 
Guardian animals before beasts, finally? Well, don't speak too soon. Oh, and it's not Big Priest. All right. Away we go. Look at the synergy here, by the way. Guess we're drawing cards. Wait. One. No, we don't quite have enough mana. We gave away our um, Kael'thas turn, but I can just play a survival from hand for free. Or I can overdraw a lot of cards here, and that's fun too. Didn't really need that one anyway, just don't lose the Yasera, please. It's kind of unfortunate. minions left, do I? I'm going to save that for next turn with the Kale Plus. But Anduin alone isn't great here unless they give up the coin. Or that, I guess. I don't know. That doesn't seem all that great either. Maybe it is. My people are addicted to it. Uh, unfortunately, we just get screamed here and still lose. So I need to tank up a bit until I get the Acera down and then make a big board full of, uh... Uh... Dragons. These are uh, stats with the... Uh, they have Reno coming soon, so there's no point in committing damage to them right now. What do you reckon is the fastest wild deck to climb? Either Secret Mage or Kingsbane, probably. We're gonna be rich. Yeah. Uh, now I can start damaging. Or expecting the damage to be permanent. around seance here is odd demon under bad and wild now no it's just not one of the best decks Surrender your will to the 
Probably should have gotten this down earlier. I didn't realize how thick it was, but... Go five damage. Okay, so I lose nine, but I've got seven from this. 21, you're dead, right? Four, seven, you're dead, yeah. Seems good. For Doomhammer, I must protect the wild. <laughs> All right. Uh, got some ramp. I just don't know what I'm ramping to just yet. Hopefully, a um, a guardian animals. Never idiot totem. Oh. Okay. I don't think I want to give them mana just yet. <laughs> I want to live the dream of the uh, solar eclipse into guardian animals. I think I can greet it out. If I play this, it'll take me to four mana five for next turn. I'd be able to play this, and they might dump some of their hands, so I'm going to go for it. Best draw is either Bio Project or second copy of uh, Lightning Bloom so that I can double up the Guardian Animals. That's like such a big swing that I think it's worth uh, maybe playing for. Unless they hit like a 4 mana 7-7 seven, seven here. That's not it. It's honestly not even that big of a deal. Dumping more cards is good for me. Like, we could have been a lot weaker into uh, giving them mana there. Alright. If we whiff too much more on our draw, I'll just go Lightning Bloom into Guardian. Uh, basically, if I don't find something playable for next turn. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> okay. Well, technically the dream is still alive, but it's probably more important for me to be alive this, uh, this turn here. It's kind of awkward. Alright. Uh, those are not the hits I needed, and that's kind of why Moonfang's not good. <laughs> Oh, I don't think... What? Alright. Just gotta dodge a crackle now. Did the opponent forget to read Moonfang? They have no burst. They've already used one crackle, so it's much less likely. Uh-oh. Is that Arctosari? Yeah, it's not that uncommon. Or it used to be fairly common in Even Shaman. I think I'm going here for Spooters. And then next turn I can get one and a half. Uh, like I need the armor in case they hit a crackle off of this, right? I guess maybe Scarab- Oh, there's the Crackle. <laughs> I 
And this is why we picked the Spooters. Don't keep your thoughts to yourself. That seems like a, an order. Well, well, bye bye, Spooters. All right, well, at least we get one and a half guardian animals here. I know taunts and face. What? You win this I foresaw this encounter. I must protect the wild. I want to find ramp. And as much as I'd like to solar eclipse it, I'd rather just find the ramp quickly. Yikes. Uh, maybe I should have taken the, the pounce for a Kale Boss pop off. But with a um with a Yosara in hand, maybe the maybe this was just fine. Their preferred matchup for this deck? I don't know. This is like Let the pain speak to me. Oh. Oh, it's not Big Priest, that's good. I'm going to coin out a Twilight Runner next turn, I think. I hope you like my invention. We have for vengeance. Just looking to get cards out of hand and into play, which means I want to find some ramp off of this Twilight Runner. Unfortunately, I've drawn so many of my beasts already that. We've drawn every single one of our beasts, or we've got two left, so I don't know. This is a pretty big feels bad man. Bio project would be good, so I can get the arbor up out. Branching paths it is. I'm probably just overdrawing here, right? It's fun. Flash. We drew a beast? Yeah. We drew all but one. So these are just unfortunately unplayable. I'm gonna overdraw another beast here too, right? My hand is too full. <laughs> oh my god. What a nightmare. Too 
All right. That would have been nice to have. Guess we just go Yasera. If power is what you seek, no yeah, Yasera's good here because it plays around uh, Anduin off the top. Uh, how much damage is that? Eight additional damage? Which is not nearly enough, so. Save it for next game. Or next turn. One K Garrush sucks. That's one of my favorites. That's one of the best ones. What? <laughs> All right. Anduin's not going to be enough. They might die here. Need something else. Oh no. No, don't kill the cute little hatchling. Ooh. Is that game? I don't know, math is for nerds. It's big numbers, so I'm thinking it's enough. 22, 23 exacties. Perfectly calculated, chat. Never in doubt. <laughs> I will fight with honor. I must protect keep this, keep this. Look for guardian animals. We can ferocious owl on two. My four-year-old saw your dogs when they made a brief appearance on stream the other day, and now you are the dog guy. Hey, that's that works for me. Uh, probably just a wrath, right? I don't, I don't need to be greedy against paladin. Yeah. I am, however, going to go with the curve play here and uh, just deal with that next turn. And I'm going to do the thing where I draw all the beasts. It's just Murlocs? Yeah, but I don't have a hand. <laughs> like, I have ramp, but what am I ramping into? Okay. Feels like the best I can do. Just make a big boy. And um, make my guardian animals top decks better. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> okay. Guardian animals one time? Yeah. Nope. The circle of life is over. Well, at least Yasera yes, is pretty thick. It's just... I like I I can't swing this board back without a uh, guardian animals draw. Oh my god, another one! Wait, trade first. No. Reporting for duty. He didn't make space. Battlegrounds gamer. Oh my god. I'm getting dumpstered. All right, please don't kill me. <sighs> like, yeah, I, I don't win without a, uh, a guardian animals. I don't know why it's been so difficult to draw that card. 
Any plans of making YouTube outside of Hearthstone gameplay? Um, not really, no. <laughs> it's, uh, people don't come to watch, or people come to watch Hearthstone. Even when I make the wrong type of Hearthstone content sometimes, I don't get views, and that's how I put food on the table. What do you call a bee that's bad at football? A fumble bee. Oh my god. Please save me, portals. <gasps> Taunt, please. Please don't kill me. Job's done. They need three damage. I think they've almost certainly got it right. I feel like pushing face is their win condition here, right? Uh oh. This is not. Even with all the extra stats, this is not like a good uh, grizzly. As after, I'm pretty sure they missed lethal with the previous miss sequencing. Thank you to legendary patrons Anonymous Toast, Brokey, Dope Guy, Fizzle Jizzix, Jeffrey Pierce, Justice Crater, Molly Mock, Neofay, Shadow1TV, Sognisman, and Vanfix.